My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, <laughs> vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? <laughs> Ja Leute, es geht direkt weiter. Ähm, wir haben letztes Mal ein bisschen geredet, haben ein bisschen was rausgefunden, was hier im Krankenhaus passiert ist. Ähm, und ich habe ja gesagt, Plan für diese Folge, wir reden mit dem ähm, Mr. Newton Blight und dem hier. Was ist da los? Ah. I cannot enter. Kann ich nicht sehen. Ich will da hin. Aha. Mehr Geheimnisse. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that. Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. We survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. <sighs> fuck the war, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the war. Fuck them all. Okay. Interessant. Also wenn die, wenn die Grafik jetzt nicht mal so ein bisschen schlecht wäre, hätte es tatsächlich bestimmt richtig interessant ausgesehen. Aber das sah eben ein bisschen seltsam aus von der Animation her. Okay, auch interessant. Mr. Thatcher. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Do you feel any better now? Yes. This neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Aha. Äh, Kopfschmerz. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back from the war, I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade myself in, despite my claustrophobia. Okay. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? That's what the bloody doctors said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Okay. Why did you run? What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital, but I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Bad. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Okay. Uh, Do you want to talk about why you have this fear of being enclosed, Mr. Thatcher? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted in a specific event. Perhaps it would help to talk about it. Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. Das nimmt die Schulter für eine Soldat, es war ihre Kinder, sie waren verschüttet. Ähm, da sie beide im Krieg waren. Ich schätze mal, die Kinder war es nicht. Schuldgefühl der Soldaten, glaube ich, auch nicht. Ich schätze mal, verschüttet. When I rescued you, you expressed joy at seeing the sky again. So I'm inclined to believe you were trapped or buried somehow. Maybe during a shelling. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Okay. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with Newton. It was more than dark. It was black as pitch. Hours seemed like days, and days like months. Oh, the terror. The shameful thoughts. Lord have mercy. Shameful thoughts? Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, 
When I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought, I thought about, I thought about... <laughs> say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive, just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. Hey, whoa. What you endured was terrifying. It would have completely destroyed weaker men. It did not destroy Newton. Wir haben hier schon beide voll mit den Heilen. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Okay. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Okay, einer fehlt noch, oder? Setzenweise. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Okay, wo ist jetzt noch der andere? Dann will ich nochmal mit dem reden. Weil dann haben wir, den haben wir jetzt in einem Durchlauf abgehakt. Also wow. So, nachdem wir dann mit dem Lieben hier, so. Hello again, wir mit Mr. Black. Geredet, geredet, haben, geredet haben, dann ähm, gehen wir nach, ähm, 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 gehen wir der Hauptquest weiter. You and Oswald were buried alive during the war. Tell me about it. Yeah. It was last summer. A shell hit our trench and we were buried for a week. Oswald seemed far more traumatized than you by the event. It wasn't the first time it happened to me. And surviving it again gave me strength. You believe that? How did you survive for a week? Luckily for us, there were rations and water in the tunnel. It was an outpost, see? Since then, Oswald's not keen on being inside for too long. Verständlich. How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well... You know, I never thought I'd love a man. Also, ähm, verständlich irgendwie, weil, ähm, damals war das ja nicht so, nicht so normal. Äh, mit gleichgeschlechtiger Liebe und so weiter. Ähm, heute ist es ja, hat sich das schon sehr, sehr stark geändert, auch, äh, jetzt nicht in allen Kreisen, aber schon deutlich besser als damals. Also verständlich irgendwo. Ähm, ich werde kein Wort darüber verlieren. Ich kann Ihnen nur zur Vorsicht raten. Genießen Sie Ihre Liebe. Äh, ja, genießen Sie Ihre Liebe. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. Ja, der ist jetzt voll. Den können wir aber nicht aussaugen. Goodbye. Schade. Der wäre voll, den konnten wir aussaugen, aber das machen wir jetzt nicht. Ähm, ich gehe jetzt der Hauptquest nach, nämlich nach hier unten. Und sobald ich dann da bin, sehen wir uns wieder, Leute. So, Leute, wir sind ja an der Grenze zum neuen Gebiet. Also zumindest fast. Und mal gucken, was uns hier jetzt erwartet. Jäger, wie es scheint. Ich liebe den Sprung, habe ich das schon mal erwähnt. 
Und ich liebe die Keule, ich liebe alles. Hallo. So. Die Keule haut richtig, richtig gut rein. Ich liebe das Teil. Habe ich hier gerade eben Skull gehört? Aha. Kann ich da lang? Hier haben wir doch mit den ersten neuen Bewohner. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, oh, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right. The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. So Ach, you're a war. concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. Immerhin. Ähm, die Wetwood Boys waren doch die Typen, die den Mr. Albert hier anheuern wollten. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cut. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, yeah. Mr. Dick. Gut, Tom Watson mal fragen. Dann haben wir da Edwina Cox? Ich nehme mal an. Äh, die Schwester von. Äh, wie heißt der andere? Dingser Cox. Good evening, Miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by Clay. I'm not here to collect payment, Miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? All here for Koifer. Boo Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. Um, pff, ich bin nicht leicht zu schockieren. I'm not that easily shocked, Miss Cox. You can speak freely about your lover if you so wish. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. And that's a first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Mm. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? 
Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Oh, that's so cool, Kaba. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know? I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard. But he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened. But you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Uh -huh. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say? Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Okay. Um, wo ist nochmal? Was ist das? Mark my words, Miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. Oh, a God. vampire? Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth. He's a good drinker. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Hey. Snix. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Oh, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. 
Okay, nur dazu noch einer. Hey, hey. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Okay. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Okay. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Okay. Ich würde, sollen wir mit ihr nochmal reden oder... Ja, ich würde mit ihr nochmal reden oder mit dem Typen da draußen. Evening, well, I never. That's the first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Okay. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. I have nothing to fear from the people round here, miss. Yeah, I'm a brave woman myself, Dr. Reed, but I'd be a fool to think I'm invincible. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Okay, also sie sind beide sehr, sehr wichtig schon. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Okay, dann noch mit dem Typen hier draußen. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, <laughs> vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, 
I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. <lacht> oh Gott, Van Helsing für Arme. Oh, das, ist, das, ist, das ist gut. Das ist, das ist gut. Da musste, da musste Jonathan auch so ein bisschen gerade mal so lachen. Als, habt ihr gehört? Oh, das ist, das ist gut. Das ist super. Oh Gott. Über die Wache von Priven. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewen? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. Ah, das ist schön. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. <laughs> yeah. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Mm -hmm. So... How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste Posters about vampires around the docks. If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Okay. How do you identify a vampire? Yes, it's, it's simple, simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Yeah. Also, der Typ ist ein kompletter Amateur. Ähm, weil sonst würde er wahrscheinlich auch ein Kreuz tragen, sonst hätte der Knoblauch an sich irgendwie. Also, wow. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour, but I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Okay, goodbye. <sighs> wow, also der Typ ist mal echt. Uh, wow. So, ich würde mal ganz gu gerne gucken, wo die ganzen Sachen sind. Totengräber, wo wäre das denn? Äh, das wäre hier irgendwo. Oh Gott, ne. Da sind wir doch aufgewacht, ne? Ja, das ist wahrscheinlich so dieses Starter-Level, wo wir aufgewacht sind auch. Deswegen hat es sich auch so linear angefühlt. Hier lang, dann irgendwie da so, dann da, dann hier durch und dann hier die Brücke. Ja. Ja, 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 ja. Okay, wo wäre das, das hier? Hier irgendwo, nimm einige Plakate vom Stapel, okay. Und das dort wäre dort, okay, das würde, ich würde sagen, wir machen ja, machen das dann so, zack, 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 dann sind wir nämlich, haben wir nämlich da alles durch. So, ich würde sagen, wir gehen noch zu dieser Notunterkunft, 
Und dann beenden wir die Folge hier. So, muss man hier lang wahrscheinlich, ne? So. Oh. Haben wir... Haben wir... Ähm... Das hat ich So. Selbst ein Level 22er ist schon echt keine Herausforderung mehr für uns, ne? Das ist schon überraschend irgendwie. Gibt's hier oben irgendwas Neues? Ach, ist das schon äh, hier? Zeitungsartikel. Jugendliche wegen versuchten Mordes verhaftet. Letzte Nacht nahm die Polizei einen jungen Mann namens Tom Watts wegen versuchten Mordes im bekannten Restaurant The Silver Bell in der äh, Percival Street fest. Der Verdächtige wurde dabei gesehen, wie er etwa eine Minute lang eine Waffe auf Gäste richtete, ohne einen Schuss abzugeben. Zwei Zeugen meldeten sein Verhalten umgehend. Watts wurde ohne zwei äh, Zwischenfälle festgenommen und weigerte, aber jede Erklärung gab nur seinen Namen an. Seine Waffe wurde geladen, wie der Polizist... Äh, seine Waffe war geladen, wie der Polizist bestätigte, der unsere Fragen beantwortete. Wahrscheinlich wird Watts für seine Ver äh, Verfehlung die ganz, äh, die ganze, äh, äh, die ganze Hände der Gerichte seiner Majestät zu spüren bekommen. Der junge Mann wird mindestens einige Jahre hinter Gittern zubringen. Okay, also ja, wow. Ist noch was? Irgendwo noch was hier. Gin. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Okay, gib gib den Gin, behalte den Gin Version und belüge Tom Watts. Sollte ich das tun? Ich glaube eher nicht, ne? Bin mir nicht sicher. Und hier haben wir gelootet. So. Und dann geht's ja jetzt, wo geht's lang? Hier wird's da lang gehen, keine Ahnung. Wie und wo und wann. Ich deportiere mich hier einfach durch die Gegend. Ähm, ich würde sagen, zum Abschluss dieser Folge leveln wir mal etwas, Leute. Ich glaube, das können wir gebrauchen. Und wir sollten vielleicht mal etwas herstellen. Das hier. Äh, Ausdauerserum, die Ausdauerregeneration, äh, die Ausdauerregeneration 5 Sekunden lang um 100%. Ah, okay. Äh, wir sollten mal so diese Basic-Sachen, die wir haben, wieder herstellen. Und die wir brauchen. Was brauchen wir denn gerade mal so? Äh, hier gibt es wieder Anzeigefehler. Erschöpfung hatten wir jetzt einmal hergestellt. Hier bräuchten wir Erschöpfung. Also zweimal, dreimal, viermal. Fünfmal. Sechsmal. Sieben. Siebenmal Erschöpfung. Okay, wird teuer. Zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Ich mach jetzt achtmal, haben wir nämlich vom Bittel Watt. Von allem. Und hier, das haben wir, das haben wir, das haben wir. Hiervon haben wir noch einmal was. Ich glaube, wir sollten hier auch mal was herstellen zur Not. Und wir können vielleicht mal Waffen verbessern. Ähm. Ja, das können wir nicht verbessern. Okay. Der abgenutzte Flock. Den könnten wir, glaube ich, verbessern, ja. Äh, 30 Schockpunkte, wenn das trifft. Das ist immer gut. Verbessern, Handhabung, Aufsauer, Senkung, Schock. Schock. Okay, Gut. Ähm, Aber was sollen wir den verbessern? Ich beweise nicht. 56 Schaden. Sollten wir das erhöhte Feuerkraft für das Schaden? Feuerrate, Sch Schock, erhöhte Feuerrate, erhöhte Feuerrate. Nee, ich glaube nicht, dass wir das brauchen. Hier haben wir Zeug zum Zerlegen. So, aber da halten jetzt wieder ein bisschen Zeug. So, ich würde sagen, jetzt gibt es noch ein bisschen was zum Aufleveln. 
Ey, wir sehen schon wieder aus, Leute. Ähm, was machen wir? Sprung würde ich verbessern gerne. Äh, du konzentrierst dein Blut in die Füßen, um deinen Einschlag bei deiner Landung zu verstärken und Schaden in deiner Nähe zu verursachen. Klingt interessant. Was ist das? Du konzentrierst das Blut in, den, in den Händen und Füßen, um den Einschlag mit deiner Landung zu verstärken. Wenn das Ziel bereits geschockt ist, saugst du es automatisch aus. Das klingt eigentlich gut, oder? Das heißt, wir haben mehr, mehr Schock, oder wie? Bereich 2 Meter. Das macht 120 Schaden. Das macht 15 Schock. Ich würde das nehmen. Oder? Na, ah, egal, jetzt ist es zu spät. Blutspeer. Das wäre mehr so taktisch. Können wir das hier upgraden? Können wir upgraden? Das mache ich. Ne, schade. Ach, stimmt, wir haben nicht genug. Gut, dann sage ich, ich mache äh, mehr Gesundheit. Das ist immer gut. Dann mehr Ausdauer. Ausdauer ist auch sehr, sehr wichtig. Ah, schade, geht nicht. Okay, das war's dann schon. Wir könnten neue Fähigkeit lernen. Wir könnten sagen, wir machen Schattenschleier. Das wäre so auf Schleichen aus. Das könnte auch nützlich sein irgendwann. Oder Gerinnung. Oder wir machen fester Biss. Mehr Schaden. Ja, warum nicht? Gut. Bestätigen wir das. Und dann... Gucken wir, was so passiert. Hier passiert nichts. Die ist tot. Äh, was ist mit was ist mit ihm passiert? Vermisst, okay. Also es hat alles Konsequenzen. Es ist ja auf kritisch gesunken. Und das bleibt stabil, okay. Mr. Elwood wird vermisst. Das klingt auch interessant. Das sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge mal, was mit ihm passiert ist. So, Leute, aber ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Lasst einen Daumen nach oben da, wenn wir, äh, wenn euch das Ganze gefallen hat. Lasst doch mal auch Kommentare da, was ich mal als nächstes tun sollte, ob ich der Hauptquest folgen soll, etc. Ähm, bis dahin, ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und ciao, Leute.